Minecraft Philadelphia deal. We were talking about, remember that? Yeah. That was the one I was gonna, we had that Lincoln, remember? And we drove out Joey and Peter, remember? Yeah. Hey, happy <laughs> birthday, hey, boss. Hey, hey uh, boss. Happy birthday, what are you, 29 now, huh? <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Hey, what's for dinner tonight? Wagyu steak? Uh, he's got some pies for the fellas. Oh, uh, uh, really? He's yeah. uh, celebrating. What about you guys? What did you always want to eat? Huh? Pizza. Oh, yeah? Hey, Tony, do you remember that we did in Queens? Which one? Yeah, that deli job where you broke your arm. Forget about it. Uh, I'm full, guys. I'm going to go get me a rum and coke. I'll be right back. Where's your threads, man? Uh, they're at the dry cleaners right now. Ah, uh, what are you gonna do, right? They're always slow folks, huh? Yeah. Hey, you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm just gonna deliver the money to the boss and then just wish him a happy birthday and be on my way. Got it. All right. All right, hey, I'm just gonna go get a drink real quick. I'll, bring, I'll meet you down. They're just on the hill right on the right, all right? All right, for sure. I'll see you later. I promised you, everything's in there. Well, it's about time, I was expecting another excuse out of you. Look, my wife's expecting our first child. I'm thinking about pulling away from the business so I can be there for her. Oh, well, congratulations, man. Uh, why don't you come take a seat? We're celebrating there. Thanks, but I want out of this business. I can't take this pressure and this heat anymore. I'm sorry. Frank, what's this all about, huh? You'll come in here on the boss's birthday. The boss's birthday. Anyone out? What are you doing? Hey, boss, what do you think about this? Uh, I just think he's a little overwhelmed as all. Well. Right, we'll just give him a couple days. Just think it over. All right, in the meantime, fellas, let's celebrate, huh? So long, boss. Fellas. Hey, boss, should we confirm the money before he leaves? Nah, it's all right. We'll count it later when we get back to the office. So soon? Yeah, I'm sorry, I have business I need to take care of. You sure they didn't say anything to you? you look down. No, it's fine. Hey, Frankie. You no, know, if you need anything, you always call me, alright? Got it. See you later. Honey, you got the bag of honey meat, right? Alright, like I said, drive straight to El Paso. If I'm not there in two days, cross the border. I need to stop somewhere. I need to run home, switch cars, and I'll be right behind you. What are you so upset about? Uh, the damn barber cut my hair too short. Oh, Grow back? Will you? No, I, I wouldn't be that upset. Boss, do you want me to go clip the guy for you? That's <laughs> uh, all yeah. good. Yeah. Hey, boss, you got a big problem. This isn't all the money. What's this? Frankie must have shoved all this in here when I was counting. Where's the rest? Frankie, you son of a bitch. Oh my god. I was literally with Frankie when I went to retrieve that money. Yeah, where's all the money, Johnny, huh? something. He's in debt. He's got financial problems with the IRS. He's got fucking financial problems with me, you know. I'm just as shocked as you are. 
You know I'm done dealing with these kinds of people, Polly. There was Joey, Peter, and now Frank. I always used to give everyone chance after chance to fix their mistakes, but I'm done giving out chances. Why would Frank betray me like this? You vouched for him, Polly. And Frank being one of your longtime friends, I trusted you and took him in. He stole a lot of money from me, and if I can't meet the due date by the end of this week, that's my ass. Frank is gonna take my money and run off with it. This isn't good for the business. I'm already dealing with the FBI breathing down my neck. I can't deal with this kind of heat right now. I don't like this. Not one bit. What are we gonna do about this, boss? Yeah, what's going on with you? You look a little nervous over there. I'm fine. Nothing at all. You know, I've had it with this guy. I want you boys to go find where he's at and bring me my money. Alright, boss. What are you doing, Paulie? Let's go. Alright, I'm coming. Don't forget. Alive. No problem, boss. What are you doing, Polly? We gotta go, man. Alright, alright. Here you go, boss. Anything else I can do for you? You got something, Frank? I think he got something that doesn't belong to you, Frankie. You're really gonna betray the boss like this, huh? Come on, Frankie. Give up the bag. Paul, oh, you know I can't do that. Look, we can either do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way, Frankie. You choose. I'm sorry. Tony? Get him, Tony! All right, Frankie, this is the final straw. Where's my money? Boss, this is a huge misunderstanding. All the money was in there, I swear. Frankie, if you don't start talking soon, you're gonna find out really quickly why they call me home run. Johnny, you were there when we retrieved the money. Didn't you count it too? You know what? Frankie's right, though. There's no way he took the money. He has no idea because he didn't do it. I'm sure it's Mr. Babe Ruth, the baseball here. So, I mean, how long have you been here? Like five years in this business? He's been in here for a life. You brought him out of the street when he was a little kid. 13 years old, delivered newspapers to people's houses. I mean, he had no family. I mean, you were the only family. Why would he take your money? In? So you're just gonna blame me off for this now, huh? Yeah, I think you're trying to set up Frankie and screw the boss out of his money. All right, well, Polly, then. Why don't Let's you hit me with the bat? Yeah, yeah, I'll hit you with the bat right now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Cool. No. All I need to know is where my goddamn money's at. Yeah, hit me with the bat. Yeah, I'll kill you right now. You kill me, I'll why not my gun does it first, goddammit. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah. go to the other room. Let's figure out this money situation. Tony, watch him. All right. All right, let's settle this. Yeah, I mean, he's full of shit. There is no way he took the money. I'm telling you, boss. I mean, look at the record. A few years ago, he borrowed your Cadillac, remember? To go get sub sandwiches. Then he brought it back to you. Later, you got in, and you turned the key, and it wouldn't start. And when you opened the hood to find out why, there was a bomb underneath. You know, I mean, why don't you explain you're that? You're only full of lies. I've oh, I'm not full of lies. lies. Oh, you're full right, right, right. Let's settle down, down, boys. Let's settle down, all right? You go help Tony with the interrogation. Oh, I'm going to get the side from you. Let's go figure this shit out. All right. Hey, Tony. The boss needs to speak to you. What about Frankie? I got it. I'll watch him.
are you doing? They're gonna be here in a minute. Yeah. yeah I don't think that matters anymore. Get you out. There's a force behind the building. You have a family now. I know you want out of the business. And that was really stupid if you take the money. I could have actually sort I could have arranged something for you, but anyway, I gotta stall these guys. There's a force right behind the building. Go sure. through there. They won't catch you. Appreciate you. Yeah, I don't know what Paulie's deal is, boss. He's just having a big problem. Hey, boss, Paulie said he needed something. I don't need it for anything. Who's watching the guy? Paulie said he was. Wait, you said Paulie's watching him? Mm hmm. Something doesn't feel right, fellas. Let's go. Boss, I don't know what happened. He jumped up, hit me in the face, took the money, and ran. You know, I did not do anything. I run in and he just jumped up like a. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Alright, just leave him. Let's go. You can't, it must be in the forest. Where do you think you went, boss? I I'm not sure. Let's go check these buildings over here. Frankie, you greedy son of a bitch. You've done enough. Frankie! Hey. You alright? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we gotta get out of I think the cops are showing up by your sirens. For sure. Thank you so much, Lana. You mean so much to me. Yeah. 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 the keys to the boss's car. The rest of the money's in the trunk. I don't got time to bury him. We gotta get out of here fast. Thank you, man. Honestly, please. I, I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. No problem. We gotta split up. The cops are coming. We gotta go before all the monsters. Hey, I might not see you again. This is my family. I gotta stay with them. For sure. Honestly, thank you so much. Again. You're welcome. I won't tell anybody nothing, alright? For sure. Take please. care of the family. Thank you. I owe you big time. Yeah. Take good care of the family, man. I will. I've known Frankie my whole life. I looked up to him even though I'm older than him. Frankie is, he's smarter than he seems. He told his wife on the phone that he's going to Mexico, but they're actually going to Canada. I know that for two reasons. One, because he doesn't like the hot weather, and two, he's smarter than he seems. I bet you he was afraid of the FBI tapping in on his phone calls and finding out where he is. But, meanwhile, I have to head over to Sicily and give Vincent the bad news. The big leader. This is the boss of the boss. 
and I have to inform him that his entire crew is deceased. Well, that's gonna be fun. But all I can think about is how I might not ever see Frankie again. I do hope that he takes good care of his family and he lives a nice and healthy life. I'm sure gonna miss him. This is Vincent. Sir, it's Polly Skaggs. Polly Skaggs. Wait, you work for Carmine. I haven't seen you since he brought you in. I used to work for Carmine. Look, we need to talk. About what? What is this about? Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but... Look, I don't got all night, so let's hurry this up. Tony, Johnny, and Carmine, they all got whacked. Wait, wait, wait. It wasn't over my money, wasn't it? What happened? It's a really long story, Vincent. Alright, look, we can't keep talking over the phone like this. Get on the next flight to Sicily, now. I need to see you face to face. We'll talk later. Alright, Vincent, I'll be on the next flight.